San Diego State and New Mexico. And so we're very well prepared to play a caliber team like this. Well, terrific, Steve. I appreciate the time once again. Thank you very much and best of luck. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes, holding San Diego State to just three total shots over 110 minutes, tied a program record, and it certainly speaks to the Mustangs' teamwork and sends a statement that they can compete with the best. And they got a chance tonight against number six UCLA in front of a terrific crowd of a lot of students on the east side of Spanos. In full force for the first time this season, we're going to easily have a crowd of several thousand here tonight. And Cal Poly's got a chance to make that statement even stronger that they can indeed compete with elite programs. They're just now announcing the officials. The head referee will be Ian Anderson. The assistants are going to be Luis Gutierrez and Gunnar Hilner. Alternate official is Joel Chambers on the sidelines getting the subs in. Four of them will be in yellow for tonight, continuing our week of welcome soccer doubleheader. Pepperdine won over the Cal Poly women 2-1 in the first overtime. UCLA is going to be wearing all white kits with the expected sky blue letters and numbers. Cal Poly in all green for this match. White numerals and letters on their end. So the Bruins, one important change in their starting lineup and their leading goal scorer, Brian Olosky, or one of them with three goals, is actually not in the lineup this evening. They're going to replace him with Shea Adekoya, who is going to be one of two forwards up front. The other one is Abu Donlati, who also has three goals for UCLA. Juan Cervantes, the goalkeeper. Very impressive, 0.63 goals against average. The Bruins are 4-1-1. One, one. They got the number six Division I ranking. Back four, Michael Amick, Eric Holt, Reggie Cannon, and Malcolm Jones. And the midfield is Felix Bobeda, as well as Jackson Ewell, who ended up beating Santa Barbara in overtime, 2-1. UC Santa Barbara back on September 17th with his overtime goal. Matthew Powell and Jose Hernandez are the other two Bruin midfielders and wouldn't you know it they actually have the last names on the backs of the jerseys you rarely see that even at this level but UCLA a very elite program in the Pac-12 up there with the North Carolinas and Wake Forests as Steve was mentioning so no surprise at all that they have an extra special touch on the jerseys Cervantes the keeper will be an all blue with white letters and the gold numbers. And now the students get ecstatic on their feet for the home team as their starting 11 is announced. And it's the same starting 11 that's been in for most of the year. Eric Cam again getting the start in goal, getting closer and closer to winning that keeping job full time if he hasn't already. Back for Nick Carroll. Sean Dillon are the two outside backs. Center backs are Tony Semeca and Cody Wakasa. And Wakasa is still getting close to setting an all time record for caps or matches played for Cal Poly men's soccer. Midfielders Christian Enriquez, Kenneth Higgins, Brett Foreman, Ruben Duran, Jack O'Connor. And the lone forward, as usual, Justin Dillon, who does lead Cal Poly in scoring with four goals this year. He got the hat trick against Fresno Pacific on September 11th. Again, the Mustangs are in all green. White letters and numbers and a white stripe on the shoulders. They're still getting introduced to pitch black sky here in Slowtown as we near 8 o'clock kickoff. Easily a crowd of several thousand on hand, many of them students on the east side of Spanos, and it's very nice to finally see most of those seats full. Not all of them, probably not even three quarters, but very close to around half of the East stands finally have some bodies. And underneath the press box, a fair amount of people as well. They're still coming in. Steve Sampson in his second year at the head of Cal Poly men's soccer program and Jorge Salcedo in his 13th year leading UCLA. We'll have the national anthem. And kickoff is coming up.
What a difference these students make. It's nice to have them back. First day of classes yesterday, week of welcome is still underway. Teams exchanging handshakes. And we are just about to start Cal Poly and UCLA men's soccer here in San Luis Obispo, California. Bruins ranked number six, and last year they moved on in the NCAA tournament after knocking off Cal Poly in the first round. However, they didn't get much farther with Seattle beating them 1-0 on November 22nd up in Washington. That Red Hawks team lost in the, sec in the third round rather to Syracuse. Still, it was a successful year for the UCLA program with an 11-9-1 overall record. So far this season in games outside the Pac-12, they're better. Four wins against just one loss and one tie with a three-match winning streak is definitely enough for a number six ranking, especially when tough competition was part of the schedule. It started with a tie against number four, Maryland, at the StubHub Center on August 26th with a final score of 1-1. Then the Bruins shocked number one Akron 6-1 at Drake Stadium on September 5th. Believe it or not, they set an NCAA record with three goals in only, only 32 seconds. You have to watch the tape if you haven't seen it yet. Abu Donladi, a junior forward from last year's starting lineup, came off the bench for the first appearance of 2016 after an injury and dismantled Akron with some help. Sophomore midfielder Jackson Ewell found Donladi twice in 11 seconds for two goals to make the score 4-0 in the 53rd minute. You will then found Blaine Martinez only 21 seconds afterwards, and Martinez made it 5-0 to finish Akron off. Obviously, the Zips are no longer number one after that defeat. And then we mentioned briefly, the Bruins played their first match on the road. That was against number 13, UC Santa Barbara, in a tough venue, Harder Stadium, with over 4,000 fans, and the goal was pulled off in the first overtime with Ewell finding goal and Don Lottie providing the assist. One loss for the Bruins was 1-0 to Duke, unranked. They won on the road with a game winner in the 88th minute after a missed penalty kick from UCLA's Elaski, who again is not in the starting 11 tonight despite scoring three goals along with Don Lottie. UCLA leads Cal Poly 8-2 and 2 all time. This is only their third appearance at Spanos in the last 18 years as we are underway with Cal Poly going left to right and kicking the ball off. Last win for the Mustang. You tripped to slow since 2012. 25 seconds into the first half. We're back on the left side of the pitch. Cody Wakasa left center back will set the ball up kicks it over the midfield line in the air and headed back by the Bruins who look to set things up in the midfield the pass goes right to left switching the field Reggie Cannon or actually that was Malcolm Jones playing it up at left back and the ball finds its way to the opposite end of the pitch on the right back to Jones though wearing the number 99 dribbling to his right he finds Ewell Back to the left center back, which is Amick. Jones, same spot up the left sideline. They lose it in the midfield. In the center circle for Cal Poly is Enriquez. Finds Wakasa behind him. Wakasa on the left flank, double team in pursuit. The pass goes back to the right. Semeca there at right center back. As usual, ball goes over to the right sideline. Foreman with a header. Higgins with a nice header down on the grass. And Duran suddenly has it on the right side of the box. It comes into the 15 off a deflection. Higgins battling forward, and Jones is forced to clear it out for UCLA. So we'll get a throw in Cal Poly deep down the near touch line to the right of the 18-yard box. Sean Dillon all the way up from right back to take the throw. Plays it into Higgins to the right of the box, and it's deflected. Is this a corner? You know, it's a goal kick. Students do not agree here in the second minute of action. Cervantes just... Rolls it on the ground to Amick, who had a give and go going with Eric Holt, his fellow center back. The ball finally goes over to right back. And this is where Reggie Cannon is. In trouble down the left sideline, Bobeda forced to play it back into the box on the right to Cervantes, the keeper for the Bruins who pulls it away. Header by Sean Dillon for the Mustangs on the right flank. Now he's in pursuit going against Atacoya. 
and is able to poke the ball down to the right side of the box as Justin Dillon a prize pressure to Cervantes, the keeper who gets it back out. Out to Holt. Dribbling to his right. He's on the right flank on the defensive half. Finds a couple of Bruins right flank and Bobeda is tripped up. That's a foul call. They take it quickly inside the attacking half. Switch to the field right to left. This is Ewell. Left flank, 1v1 against Brett Foreman. Pass goes up to Don Lottie, further up the left flank. In front of the center circle and to the left. Holt from the circle. Out to Cannon, making a run up the right sideline in front. Stringing a couple passes together. Broken up and cleared away by the Mustang defense out to center. Justin Dillon trying to run up the left sideline. His attacking half to the right but it's poked away instead, and Cervantes clears it to the left of his box and in front. The Bruins try to settle back the possession. The other end of the field, Jones. Pass intended for Don Lottie in the circle, but not hitting the mark, and the Mustangs win it back. Carroll right at midfield for the Mustangs back to Wakasa. Defensive half, Wakasa with the underside of the boot. Over to Semeca to his right. Dillon right sideline, still behind the line. Dillon dribbling left. Gets passed out of Koya. All the way down to Carroll, his left back. Opposite end of the field in front of the students. Carroll with a couple touches over to his right to Wakasa. The ball bounces across the midfield line. Dylan one nice touch to Carroll. Carroll up the left sideline, battling for it and not quite holding on. Was Jack O'Connor for one of his first touches and the Bruins are off to the races after getting past a push on the right flank. They dribble inside the attacking third. One shot inside the 18. The ball goes inside the five on a deflection and is picked up by Eric Cam. Mustang goalkeeper getting his first touch on the ball of the evening. Late 8 o'clock kickoff. And no score in the middle of the fifth minute. Cal Poly and number six UCLA finishing the week of welcome soccer doubleheader this Friday night. Cal Poly men's soccer action. Justin Dillon deflects it off of a defender on the opposite goal box. Cervantes there to pick it up, and he will just throw it out to the right sideline. These two teams met in the NCAA tournament last year. The Bruins won 2-0 in the first round, ending Cal Poly season. Right flank defensive half for the Bruins. They continue to push up. Holt, close to threading the needle entirely on the ground, almost does. Semeca forced to clear it over the near touch line. And now inside the attacking third are the Bruins. They'll take a breather, though, as they put the ball down and let Cannon come up to it. 30 out, 30 or so yards out from goal. Comes in on the throw to Don Lotti. Right flank, back to Cannon. It's poked away, no foul call. Duran wins it for the Mustangs. Left flank ahead to Justin Dillon. Dillon plays it to his right, long switch of the field to Foreman. Can he get there? He's a bit too far off. And it's a Bruin throw in opposite end of the field. Their left sideline. Throw in comes back to the front of their own box. Amick dribbling up the left flank. Gets into the center third. Jones, one touch. It's off of Foreman. So we'll get a UCLA throw. Bruins, of course, part of the Pac-12, which is six teams strong in men's soccer play. Earlier this year, Cal Poly, as the ball goes back to Cervantes and goal, who gets it back out of his own box. Uh, Cal Poly played the one affiliate team for Pac-12 men's soccer, which was San Diego State. It was a nil-nil draw. Aztecs number 11. Foreman wins it back in the midfield for the Mustangs' left flank as the students continue to their cheer and holding their hands up in the air at the right moments. And applauding themselves for the effort. Higgins attacking half back to Foreman, right sideline. Foreman with some room to launch across. He does to the left. O'Connor is there, can't get the header on it. Duran at the top of the 18, settle it down with the chest. Off of a couple broom deflections, they get it out of the box, going right to left. Holt. Pass from Ewell is a long one, getting up is Adekoya. He's inside the 18. The defense gets back, and one touch to Adekoya off of a Mustang, and Cam boots it off. That was close. If Adekoya had done better on the 1v1, maybe he would have gotten enough room to launch a better shot opportunity and maybe cash in with a goal. Ball, of it, that's going to be a handball somehow. It's eventually blown as the official takes his time. It's against the Mustangs. Much to the chagrin of the student body in attendance. And they continue to pile up 
in a sea of students on the east side of Spanos. Left flank is Amick, part of the UCLA back four. Holt switches the field, off to Cannon. Some room on the right sideline, but back to his left finds Amick. Amick dribbling up to the left, across the line, but Ewell has to retreat back. This is Matthew Powell out to Cannon. He's across the midfield line, right side line. A one touch was attempted further up the right flank. That was Bobeda, but couldn't quite find it, and it eventually goes out on the far side line. It's off of Cal Poly. Across the attacking half until the throw, and now it's back in the defensive half for the visiting Bruins in white. Holt through the circle. He finds Don Lottie above him through the 1v1. Chance for Cannon making a sprint up the right flank. Who touched it last? It was Cannon as it goes across the goal line for a Mustang goal kick. Cal Poly nil and UCLA nil. In the middle of the ninth minute of action in Cal Poly men's soccer here on the Mustang Sports Network. This is Mustang Max Mylander. Cam boots it on the ground from the left part of the five. One deflection off of Justin Dillon out to Higgins. Higgins on Dillon's right. Higgins finds Carroll left side. He aims for the top of the 18. Dillon there, one touch, two touches, and finds goal! One nil! Justin Dillon does it yet again. His fifth of the season. Two touches was all he needed at the top of the box at the start of the 10th minute. What a way for the home team to start against the number six team in the country. Unassisted unofficially, Justin Dillon stepping up, wanting to become a pro after college, knowing he has the role and capitalizing. How will the Bruins respond being down a goal? They were the favorites. Almost everybody expecting them to win tonight. Ewell with a long ball up to Bobeda on the right sideline. This is in the attacking third. And it actually is off the Bruins last up that same sideline. What a goal. One touch by Dillon inside the semicircle, then another touch booting it to the back of the net. Cervantes was cut in a bad spot. Not able to make the stop. 1-0 Mustangs. Duran trying to retreat in the middle of the circle off a deflection. It goes O'Connor's way to the right. Out to Foreman, can they do it again? Trying to find Dillon who was on side, but the pass not far to the left enough. And it's off of the Bruins back four instead. Still, if you talk about a psychological boost for the Mustangs. Had another train behind us. Had another one go going yeah, you can, you can hear the, the train whistle and it's going behind us at the Spanos press box. UCLA switches the field to the right sideline. Cannon was behind the line that time. Now Powell finding all the way to his left Don Lottie on the left flank. It's a give and go. Don Lottie and Adekoya have it going. Adekoya dribbling inside of the right. He's on the move. One impressively threaded pass to the right side of the back line. One touch, two touches. Hernandez applied the last try by the Bruins, but again cleared by Cal Poly, and that was Sean Dillon booting it out from the middle of the goal box. Yule inside the middle of the pitch, too far in front of Don Lottie, and it's cleared away by Seneca. It goes out and into the stands. For the Mustang defense, being up by a goal, their confidence soaring. Jones over the line and misplated to Adekoya, throw in Mustangs. Difference is the Justin Dillon goal in the 10th minute. Cal Poly 1, UCLA nothing. Still throwing it up the right sideline off of the head of Jones for the visiting Bruins. 
Dillon is now further up the near touch line. Throw comes into the attacking third of Justin Dillon running up the right flank. Big push and there's a foul. Take your pick. It was either against Eric Holt or Malcolm Jones. One of those two. Hard to see from this angle. So free kick opportunity. Mustang is looking to add to this 1-0 early lead. O'Connor taking this as we've seen him do quite often already this year. Twenty-five yards out. Right side of the box. Bruins have a wall of two. That's in front of the 18. O'Connor lost it. It's to the middle of the box. Nice bend, but Cervantes gets it right into his lap. Creating the ball by his chest. Adekoye, impressive touch with the right side. A professional worthy touch. Hernandez. Holt switches it left to right behind the middle line. Ewell back to Holt. Right to left we go. Jones left flank. He's across the midfield line now. Finds Adekoye against Sean Dillon. Ahead to Hernandez against Duran. They go back left to right. Ewell completes the switch of the field. O'Connor almost gets a tackle all ball. But it ends up being Cannon who dribbles up the right flank. Finds a teammate to his right. Pushed around and no contact still. Nice pressure from, I believe, Brett Foreman. But as he was trying to start a give and go with Higgins, the ball goes out. It's Bobeda who had the ball for quite a while on the right sideline before the pressure came. Hats off to the Mustangs for avoiding the foul call. A couple more passes threaded right flank for UCLA. Donalotti battling. He's trying to dribble into the top of the 18. Off of the Mustang defense. We are going left to right now. Duran up for the home team. Left flank across the midfield line. Middle third. Double team comes to meet him and pokes the ball away. Yule dribbling to the left. Pausing a moment. Looking for his options in the circle. Finally finds Jones to the left behind the line. Foreman. Applying the pressure out to Holt to his right. Switch to Powell. Across the line once again, mid pitch. Donlotti battling for position. Higgins, though, wins it and battles through some pushing. Wakasa just plays it back to Cam. The keeper, one touch boot out of the box. Behind the circle in the middle, Duran tried to apply the header. It's off of UCLA instead, and Yule is now going to work against another double team. Boots it to the left, and it's off of the Mustang defense in front of the 18. Already an up-tempo match in the first 15 minutes, about to make it 16. Mustangs early goal, Justin Dillon, 10th minute. Top of the box, two touches was all he needed. Dunlotti, left of the 18, going against Sean Dillon. It's off of Dillon, still in for a while. They're saying it's a goal kick. Off of UCLA last, say the referees. And you haven't been to Spanos, this is a treat. The fans are waving around lights, probably from their cell phones, as they're lighting on and off. Very much has the feel of a Super Bowl with all the lights going off. And I mentioned the Super Bowl, but I, of course I also have to mention the blue-green rivalry, which is even more like the Super Bowl. But man, those lights, you, you just were not seeing anything like that from the student section in the first few home matches just because they weren't here. They hadn't gotten here to campus yet to begin the first term of this academic year and classes were yesterday. So this is what you get here in the late September. Justin Dillon up the right sideline. He's in the attacking third for Cal Poly. Can the Mustangs clear it up there? Left sideline. Jones has a battle against Foreman, loses the battle. Foreman. Had a couple touches right by the right corner flag, but it goes off of him last in the end. Long throw from the Bruins. They try to clear it out of the box. They do. Way over the midfield line. Cam is out of his box to the right, and we'll just watch it go out. It's a Mustang throw. Back on their right sideline, Sean Dillon will loft it inbounds. 
looking for his teammates to get into better position, trying to find his brother Justin, but off of UCLA header, Higgins off his, his chest, trying to loft it to Justin Dillon over the midfield line, but instead, Amick collects for the Bruins, and it's back to ground ball. Amick on the grass. Give and go with Powell dribbling to his right. He finds Cannon right sideline by the substitute flag at midfield. Triangle completed to Holt. He is on the left flank above the midfield line. Cannon trying to get out. No, this is Cannon on the receiving end, rather. And it was a give and go opportunity with Cannon able to force a deflection just behind the right corner flag. And this is a Bruin throw. Past the 18, close to the 5 from the right. Cannon lost it in. He finds Don Lottie behind him. Right sideline back to Cannon. Give and go. Trying to win it back was Carroll. He couldn't do it. And Cam was trying to keep it in to the left of his goal. But it goes out of bounds before he can do so. The deflection's off the Mustangs. So it's a UCLA corner. First of the match for either side. It's away and taken by Cannon appropriately enough, but a foul whistled on UCLA in the middle. On Malcolm Jones, who got up in the stopper roll. 19th minute of play, Cal Poly 1, UCLA 0. The score is correct. Justin Dillon got on the scoreboard in the 10th minute. And the Mustangs are able to make this stand. This would be a tremendous upset for the entire program, the entire college. At Higgins, right sideline, he's battling against Jones. Well, technically, it's a university, but the throw comes into Enriquez, winning position on the right flank. The ball is deflected right back out to Enriquez on the pinball. Enriquez behind the box. He finds Higgins to the right of the 18. And the cross, unfortunately, for Higgins comes off of Jones inside the box and over the line. Throw is played short to Higgins, still on the right of the 18. Three touches in the air and off of the right boot, but it's played to the near post on the right, and no Mustangs in the vicinity. It's just Cervantes, the keeper, protecting the near post. Out of the box, Cervantes. Semeca, one touch in the air from the Mustangs. Carroll back to Wakasa. Semeca, right center back, long ball over the midfield line. Played to Amick. Left of the box, 1v1 against Higgins. Finds Jones in front of him. Triangle passing. Yule is to the right of the triangle. Three touches, fancy footwork getting around Enriquez, but ends up losing the ball to Foreman for Cal Poly. One touch by Higgins and a push against Duran. Some Cal Poly fans wanted a foul. Foreman more pushing, and Yule with too, too much. Foreman apparently wanted a card. I don't think he'll get one. And Wakasa now trying to plead the case. Wakasa, the captain of this Cal Poly squad. In the end, no matter what, it is a free kick. O'Connor will take it short and to the left, switching the field to Carroll. Carroll hesitating, now gets it to the top of the 18 where Semeca is. O'Connor, long throw and push to the ground, but no whistle. Not even sure if it was a push or just falling down. Came in front of the box, one touch, now he picks it up as Hernandez was applying the pressure. Almost near the halfway point of the first half, and just like the first half of the Cal Poly Pepperdine women's match, earlier today, a very quick and up-tempo first 20 or so minutes. Pepperdine ended up winning 2-1 in overtime in the 95th minute. We'll have more on that match during halftime if you missed it. Ball is a throw for the Mustangs. This is in the defensive third. Carroll will take it. This is on the far touch line. Further up the line comes the throw off of the head of Dillon. Backwards header, ping pong, and settled down with a chest on the Bruins for the, on the right side of the line. 
Emick dribbling left, now goes right, and just back to Powell behind him. To the right as well. Emick give and go. Ewell, and Foreman intercepts again on the right part of the midfield. Higgins, though, can't hold on to the right of the circle. Back to the Bruins. Ewell facing a double team. Has to find Amick behind him, switching it to Powell again to the right. Justin Dillon continuing to apply pressure to the back four. Amick finds Ewell to the left flank. Now it's across midfield again. Jones, no, back across again. Behind the line to Ewell. He finds Donlotti at the top of the triangle. Donlotti has to play it back to Jones, and Ewell all the way back on the back part of this long triangle. A couple touches give and go. It's a switch of the field to Powell. Middle pitch now with the ball, and Enriquez collects the freebie for the Mustangs. After a couple passes, Semeca way over the line and in the air. Just to Amick for UCLA. Jones. Amick again. Powell in front of the box. Cannon up right sideline defensive half against O'Connor. Dribbling to the left. Back to Amick. Bruins down a goal. 1 0. Trying to get some possession threaded together. They can't do it. Justin Dillon with a steal. Now it's back the other way. Holt had a touch, but Enriquez holds on for Cal Poly to Holt's right. And now the Cal Poly back four on the left will have some touches to make. Enriquez finds Wakasa behind him to the left. Carroll now calls for it. Left side line. Ball is over the midfield line ahead to Higgins. Can Higgins beat out Powell? No, Powell wins it. And plays it back to Cervantes on one touch. Cervantes the opposite direction to the left. Jones. One bounce off of DeGrasse. A couple of headers. Out of Koya trying to settle it down. And behind him finds Amick. Adekoye to his left, Amick. Dylan still going to work on the attacking end. Cannon right sideline. They switch the field too far in front for Hernandez, though. And Higgins plays it up to, oh, that would have been a beautiful ball to Justin Dillon, who was onside and unmarked at the top of the 18. But oh, so lucky trip by Semeca the other way. Cam able to kick it on one touch. I don't know what would have happened if Semeca had stayed on the ground, ironically enough. He was right in front of Cam. The two of them were at risk of having a miscommunication with uh, Don Lottie getting farther up and in the mix. But we're past the halfway point of the opening mark, and still the Mustangs up 1-0 against the number six team in the country, the UCLA Bruins. Over the midfield line, right to left, too far in front for Don Lottie. Semeca playing it up to Sean Dillon Foreman, completing the triangle right flank. Wakasa behind the line, now in front. Justin Dillon, one touch, back to Wakasa, who somehow gets there. Carroll completes the second triangle. He's above the midfield line and on the near touch line. He wins a throw off a deflection. Throw comes in. They find. Higgins with a decent amount of room. Foreman to his right behind. Middle of the pitch, Foreman battles a double team and goes right through it. Ahead, one touch. No, he has to retreat. That was O'Connor. Back to Enriquez behind him, left of the circle. Sean Dillon, right flank, a couple touches. Plays it to the left. Nobody there. I don't know if O'Connor can get there. No, he can't. It's behind O'Connor the whole way. The Bruins send in a sub, the first sub of the match. And this will be... Blaine Martinez, six foot one redshirt, redshirt freshman and forward out of Dana Point, California, had one goal that came against Akron in that six to one victory. He also got another score. And if I can find it, that came against Cal State Northridge. That was a 4-0 win after the Akron defeat. Inside the Cal Poly box, the defense clears it out. Duran off to the races, down the middle of pitch. He's got Wakasa to his left. Wakasa making the run left flank. Beautiful all ball tackle by Cannon to win it back by the Bruins. Long ball opposite direction. Adekoya to the right, or the left of the 18, excuse me. Ahead to Dillon, Yule at the top of the 18. Nice ball winning back by Foreman, all ball again. 
The sprint won by Foreman. Ahead to Higgins with a couple touches. Yule to the ground, but he does win it back for the Bruins. Across in the opposite way of goal, though, for them. Cervantes, one touch from inside the box from Keep. Amick to Powell. Right sideline, Cannon. Team defense, certainly a big reason why it's still 1-0. Steve Sampson mentioned a lot about that in the pregame. Everything easily marked 1v1 up and down for the Mustang defense. They know what the assignments are. Semeca able to battle past a push from Martinez off the bench. Backline still has to get it out. Enriquez to Wakasa in front of box. He finds O'Connor on the left flank. Wakasa plays it off a deflection to Justin Dillon. One touch off the midfield line, but it's backwards. And now going up the right sideline is Don Lottie for UCLA. Touch into Ewell on top of the box right of the semicircle. Back to Don Lottie. Dribbling left, tries a shot. It's past Cam, but also past the goal line. And Cam was trying to dive to his left, but that's where the ball was also heading as well, and it was to the left of goal. Not entirely on frame. This match has not had a lot of goal kicks, but we've got one coming up for Eric Cam. This is now his fifth start for the Mustangs in seven matches. Wakasa. One long ball in the air, he finds Higgins. Nice def deflected header to O'Connor, threading it back to Higgins with a head, but it's off of a couple Bruin defenders. Justin Dillon trying to settle it on the grass. Left flank, it's off of Dillon, and Dillon disagrees, but the Bruins have a throw. Right sideline, it comes in quick. Amick dribbling up inside the left flank. He finds Ewell. To his left farther up, Powell now has it on the right. Touch to Hernandez, one more touch back to Holt. They can't hold on in the midfield, Cal Poly has it back. Foreman across the midfield line, right flank tripped up, and I don't think the strike of the hand of the ball was intentional. The foul came before that as Ewell got in late, and his cleats got the side of Foreman's boot. Got to shake that off. So the kick will be just past straight midfield. Right flank for Sean Dillon. We've got five Mustangs at the top of the goal box on the left ready to receive. Dillon lofts it on the left more or less than where he intended it to kick it, but it's off of a couple of Bruin heads to the left of the box. And now we have a Mustang substitution, their first of the evening. It's going to be George Grody. Nice to see him back. Jack O'Connor comes out. This is only Grody's second appearance of the season. The first was against Fresno Pacific in that 4-1 win where Justin Dillon got the hat trick. Grody, though, has experience. Enough of it anyway. Five foot ten sophomore was in the starting lineup for most of 2015. Duran behind to Foreman. This is on the right flank. Enriquez can't hold on on the right part of the circle. UCLA goes right to left the other way on the steal. Ewell tries to thread it into Martinez, who is really on the move. But Sean Dillon craftily wins the battle and pokes it out. Jones, left flank in front, nearly a handball. And he is going to get called for a handball. Hernandez, hard to hear the whistle blow out here with how big this crowd is. This, this has to be at least 5,000. I'll be darned if it's not. It's basically all students on the east side of Spano Stadium. And a lot of other supporters behind us on the, or in front of us in the press box. Take your pick, I guess. The ball wafted into the UCLA's goal box. Cervantes picks it up in front of the goal mouth. Amick out to Powell to the right of the box. Still the defensive half for the Bruins. Cannon right back against Duran. Went to the right, now goes left. 
Finds Amick again, behind the circle, now to the left. Over midfield with a pass, Martinez. One touch. He finds Hernandez. Ball played back for Ewell, but not able to hold on. There's a foul call on UCLA once again. And a Mustang is down. It's Wakasa, and the officials now stop play in the 33rd minute, but it's still Cal Poly 1, UCLA 0. Justin Dillon strikes again. It came in the 10th minute. One touch, top of the box. The second touch hit home. And Wakasa is up on his two feet, not coming out. Duran getting some instructions in front of the Cal Poly bench on the left end of the pitch from Steve Sampson, head coach in his second year, former U.S. men's national team manager. A lot of soccer aficionados remember him from the 94 World Cup that the U.S. also hosted. He's done some color commentary as well in both English and Spanish. Foreman on the other end of the pitch can't find a teammate to throw a pass to on the right flank, dribbling up, so the Bruins win it back. Semeca, though, in front of the midfield line, right flank, barely won it back. Not for long, though. Jones for the Bruins, back across the line, going right to left, off a deflection. Semeca hits it back the other way in a ping pong, and it's out of bounds. One bounce in the hand, gets it back to the grass. One more sub each for both sides. And Sean Dillon, the right back, is going to come out. Adam Olsen will take his place. Might even see him in attack mode later on. Olsen's played in every single match for the Mustangs in 2016. Ball back in play, 34th minute. Hernandez, middle of the circle, takes a couple touches on the outside edges, now to the right. He finds the UCLA sub who just checked in, Willie Regoza. Regoza's a senior, 5'8". Midfielders out of South El Monte, California. Bruins left center back, Amick. Finding Powell, how many times have we seen that already this first half, but the Bruins trying to get the possession game going. Down by a goal in a spot they have not been in a lot. The Bruins have given up now five goals this year. All but one of those games was either a tie or a victory. The one loss was to unranked Duke, 1-0 finish on September 2nd. Mustangs looking for similar heroics. Duran can't get it. Out of the touch of Hernandez, still rolling around defenders, but Duran has the last laugh, winning it with a poor touch by Hernandez in front. And into the attacking third. Cam with one touch out of the box from left to right. Amick one touch to Jones. Has to go back to Powell. Pace of the match definitely settling down. Powell long ball, Olsen just lets it go to Cam on the opposite goal box. Pressure coming in for Martinez, forces Cam to just pick it up. Cam is the purple jersey on. White letters and numbers for him. The rest of the Mustangs are in green. With the white letters and numbers, UCLA has their white kits on. Dunlady can't hold on to the ball. On the far touch line, it goes out of bounds. Nick Carroll for Cal Poly throws it in to Enriquez, who's just to his right. Enriquez in the left flank. Pass back to Seneca, his center back. Olsen remains at right back. Foreman calling out where the ball should go. It's a beautiful pass to Duran, middle of the pitch. Attacking third, the Mustangs go. Carroll up the left sideline. Dangerous cross left to right. Dylan trying to get his head on it, but instead it gets a Brune head, and they clear it away. Regoza. Up the right sideline, battling for the ball, winning it back. Wakasa, nice job. Higgins now has the middle of the pitch, finds Duran. One touch, nobody in the box, though, and Cervantes collects in the five for the visitors.
37th minute action. Mustangs still find themselves up. 1-0 against the number six team in the nation. Ball lofted into a box that's empty except for Cam in goal for the Mustangs. And he'll pick it up after the pressure comes this time. From Atacoya. Frustrating first half for him. Replacing Brian Oloski in the normal Bruins starting 11 for this match. Hard hit and a push. No contact advantage played. Higgins inside the 18. Left of the box. Finds Grody. Grody almost got a good scoring opportunity, but again cleared out by the Bruins. Going the other way, almost a handball on either team. But a nice poke from Semeca. The ball is eventually cleared. And it's off of the Bruins last out of bounds. Far touch line. And there's a card. Too much of a word from one of the Bruins. Unofficially, it's on Matthew Powell for UCLA. In the 38th minute, said something the head referee didn't like. And that got him a booking. Powell now tying his shoe. Of course, we've got to get some actual confirmation on who the card was on. A card appeared to be held up right by Powell. Referee is still keeping play dead. Clock is stopped in the middle of the 38th minute, and it's possible the Mustangs might be able to get in a sub while we're stopped. Highly unlikely though, and of course, now the clock is just about to get started. It's, a, it's gonna be a throw in for the Mustangs. The Bruins might have actually had a case. It was hard to see if the Bruins actually hit it backward and out of bounds. But just the same, it is a card unofficially on Matthew Powell, part of the back four for UCLA. Cal Poly wins it nice behind the foot, foot touch with a heel. That was Foreman. String together a triangle pass. Now finds Justin Dillon, one header and make it two headers off of a Bruin. At the top of the box and Atacoya looking at finish the clear out along with Ray Goza for UCLA. They get it done. Powell, who unofficially has the card ahead to Cannon, right side line up the middle of the line. Another heel pass tried by Don Lottie, but that's out of bounds, and that's a lot easier to see. So this Cal Poly throw, they'll let Kaba Al Cabalon check in. He's got a tall frame, 6'4 junior, giving Justin Dillon a rest after the 1 0 goal and a well deserved rest at that. And we know I'll cable on enough to know that he's going to apply the same amount of pressure as Justin Dillon does in the attack. So Carroll lost the throw up. Left sideline off of a couple deflections both ways. Ray Goza had a touch, but Carroll went back for the Mustangs. Ping pong the other way to UCLA. Cannon on the retreat. Give and go with Hernandez, who's got the ball right flank. Regoza couldn't hold on with a touch. Mustangs cleared in front of the 18, but Hernandez for UCLA collects. Give and go with him and Donalotti. Right side line to the left is Holt. And back Hernandez just can't hold on. On that same right flank, but UCLA settles in at midfield. Keeps possession, Jones at the left flank. They've tried switching the field. Bruins haven't had a lot of luck so far going up the left sideline with the ball. They continue to go to the right, and they're back at it. Hernandez, right sideline, middle third. Now it's in the attacking third off of the head of Grody. Takes a deflection. There's a cross that comes in the box. Martinez battling. Nice clear up by Semeca. Getting to the ground after a couple of bounces with the grass. 
did it inside the box behind the 18. 40th minute. Regoza, left flank. Out to Hernandez, opposite flank. Against Grody, give and go. Nice job between him and Donlotti. Suddenly the ball to Cannon, right of the box. Shot is in and Cam collects it. Martinez was flailing to get the goal of the header and ends up crashing right into the goal and hitting the net. His body, not the ball. Under five minutes left before halftime. I'll cable on off a big push. That's a foul. And some frustration by Powell. He's got to be careful. He's got the card as far as we know. Yes, indeed. Official confirmation that card was on Powell. Bruins just can't afford to go down to 10 men. Enriquez, middle of the pitch, middle third, ahead to, to Olsen, who's on the right of the 18. But it's too far in front for Olsen. It goes over the goal line. It'll be a Bruins goal kick. And despite the unlimited subs, if there's a red card, you lose a man. That stays the same. Holt. Amick still to his left. Two center backs for the Bruins have touched the ball quite a bit in the opening 42 minutes and counting. Holt dribbling to his right, battling against Alcable on Hernandez to his right across the midfield line. Regoza goes to his left. Can Alcable on win it? He can. And he almost holds on. Foreman comes in to help behind the line. And it's a Cal Poly foul call against Foreman, as far as I know. The, the free kick is taken quickly. It's to the right with the bottom of the boot. Powell passes ahead to Hernandez. He can't hold on. Mustangs off to the races, left to right through the midfield. Higgins, he tried to find Grody to the left sideline, but UCLA intercepts. Powell over to Amick with the switch. Left center back across the midfield line. Back to Holt. Defense coming up. Ray goes a big push. No whistle. Now a whistle. Free kick. Cal Poly gets the bad end of that contact. Not a yellow but a potentially dangerous set piece nonetheless. Given a number six UCLA trailing by a goal, can this be the equalizer? Regozin Hernandez behind the free kick ball. It's a good 35 yards away, but it's straight ahead to the goal mouth. It's a chip shot ahead off of the chest of Holt out to Adekoya, center of the 18. The defense is there. Cannon ahead to Donlotti at the right of the box and deflected by Higgins. Out of bounds to force a throw. Taken short. Adekoya give and go. It's again off of a Mustang defender. Behind the light a bit more. Donlotti to the right of the 18. That's a free kick. Not inside the box though. Mustang's fortunate that it was not actually in the box. Nick Carroll pleading his case to the Mustangs, not seeing a card. Don't think we have one, but this free kick, wow. Only about eight yards away from the goal line to the right of the 18-yard box. This very dangerous. Cal Poly has a wall of two. There to Cam's left. Close to the goal line. Kick on the way. Cam does well to punch it out. At least that's what I saw. 1v1. Hernandez dribbling through traffic. Higgins clears the top of the 18. The ball finds its way back to Anik. Top of the circle, 44th minute. Don Lotti, right flank, dribbling around Enriquez. Through a triple team, not quite. Shot on top of the box is deflected. Foreman away with a header. All cable on settles with the chest, another touch, make it two touches, can't hold on. Amick for UCLA collects. The ball's still going right to left at the one minute mark of the first half. The Bruins still in attack mode. 
Hernandez, out to Dunlady, top of the box, dangerous shot, but it's wide left. Off of the Mustangs, corner kick, left corner flag, Shea out of Koya to take it. At least out of Koya, settled, set the ball down, excuse me, and he's going to let Hernandez take care of this. He plays it short, though, to out of Koya. What am I saying? Hernandez, left of the 18, one long touch, and that allows Carroll to go to ground to clear it. Chopper Cannon, though, is deflected off of Cal Poly. Cam to try to save it on the goal line. Not able to do so. Corner kick opposite flag on the right for UCLA. 15 seconds left before halftime. Exactly. Ray Goza to settle down. They have to play it fast. Ray Goza, corner long, right to left. Header off of Holt. It's off of the head of Seneca. Seneca clears it out into the sand, stands, and the students will make the catch, and the first half comes to an end. 45 minutes of play, and the Bruins have not found goal. The Mustangs have against almost all supposed odds. Justin Dillon in the 10th minute. Two touches at the top of the 18. One shot to the back of the net. And that makes it Cal Poly 1, UCLA 0. We are at halftime. And the halftime show is coming up after this here on the Mustang Sports Network. With a good moment or two, he's got two goals for UCLA. Not on the field at the moment, though. It appears that Olaski is in for Martinez. The rest of UCLA's 11 looks to be the same as it was at the end of half number one. For Cal Poly, Justin Dillon is back on. And as far as I know, so is the rest of their starting 11. The Bruins will start, kick off on the way, going left to right. The back four having it for UCLA down 1-0. They've got 45 minutes to at least force sudden victory time, which we have seen once already in this week of welcome doubleheader in the Cal Poly Pepperdine women's soccer battle. The Waves won 2-1. Holt at center back, out to Cannon. Near touch line, the right side line for him though. Finds Olaski, one touch to Holt. This is the first time Olaski has gotten in tonight. They switch the field right to left across into the attacking half, one touch by Dunlotti. Looked pretty, but nobody was there. Duran retreats, Wakasa lets the ball go into the box and Cam blasts it out into the air. Cam is the Mustangs keeper. One long touch by Brett Foreman. Ball lost, takes three, four bounces in the grass, ends up in the UCLA box on the left now. Juan Cervantes, the UCLA keeper, out to his back four. Amick facing some, some pressure from Justin Dillon, who continues to press up. Cannon, they switch the field right sideline, ahead in the attacking half, Olaski, one touch. Hernandez is on side, he's to the right of the 18. One touch, and Cam diving to the left, grabs the ball and makes the save. Semeca possibly wanted a whistle, but it doesn't matter in the end. Cam was there. So inside the box, Cam lofts the ball away again. Out of a Bruin header, a couple more touches through the center circle. O'Connor wins it back for Cal Poly. Ball goes back, dangerous. Cam has to get out from the box, but he clears it with a blast off of a few bounces on the grass. Foreman ahead to Higgins. Long one touch, though, from Higgins, and it bounces to Amick for the Bruins. Back to Cervantes, the keeper. They complete the long triangle to Matthew Powell, who has the one yellow card in this match. Came in the 38th minute on a verbal disagreement with the head official. Holt, right flank across the defensive line, deflected by Carroll for the Mustangs. It lands to Olaski, right flank right on the midfield line. Behind him, Amick up to the left flank. Same line, Dunlady can't hold on. Enriquez with a brief touch. And eventually Higgins gets a couple touches on it for the Mustangs. Foreman helps him out, left flank, or right flank rather, defensive half advantage is played. Enriquez with a push though. Higgins remains on the ground and is sitting down now, but 
clearly in need of assistance in the 48th minute. The clock finally does stop. And he did take a bit of a fall, Higgins, against Fresno Pacific, but came back later. And by that time, the Mustangs were up with a clear advantage, 2-0, and eventually won that against the Sunbirds, 4-1, and Higgins back up. I'm going to have to eventually ask him what that cast is on his right arm. Free kick comes to Wakasa, or, yeah, that was Wakasa, but he can't keep it in bounds. So it's a Bruin throw, near touchline. Throw comes into the middle third from Cannon to Donlotti, dribbling left. He finds Hernandez giving go back to Donlotti. He's across the midfield line. Fancy move goes against Enriquez to the left. Out to Bobeda, who's back in after the first part. They end up winning the ball in the midfield. You see LA off to the races, left flank dribbling inside. Donlotti try to give and go, and it ends up going for O'Connor from the Mustangs midfield. Off of the head of Justin Dillon backwards. Hernandez ahead. Dangerous ball to Donlotti. Came up again. And as far as I know, it's offsides, yes. Free kick for Cam. Still in the defensive third, but in front of the box. Remains Cal Poly 1, number 6, UCLA nil, 50th minute. Powell settles it down for the Bruins on his own defensive third. On the left, Amick in some trouble against Justin Dillon. Finds Holt to his right, Dillon backs away. Holt ahead to Cannon, right sideline. O'Connor is there, applying the pressure. It forces the retreat to Holt. Up the right flank he goes. Back to Cannon, they'll try it again. Up in the defensive half. Same result, back to Holt. And he loses it in the midfield, Duran and Enriquez trying to win it with the chest, and they do. Enriquez off to the races. One touch into O'Connor, he can't hold on. Left sideline, Olaski now trying to win it with the chest for UCLA. Right flank, the ball goes to the left, Amick ahead to Hernandez. Across the midfield line, Higgins not able to win it back. Deflection goes to Powell, he's on the left flank for UCLA, indirectly switching the field with some help. Bobeda up the left sideline, push from down Lottie, foul. Yes, indeed. Foul whistled on the Mustangs. Set piece opportunity for the visitors. Head official calling Semeca over. Just as a warning, I don't think there was a card at all in that whole conversation. But it is a free kick. 40 yards out, lofted in and off the head of Justin Dillon. Suddenly off to the races, Duran up the right flank, but the defense applies the pressure and it's a foul against Duran. Crowd will not like that here in Slowtown. Fernandez, give and go to Yule. I believe it was Yule who got the free kick away on the left side that ended up being ultimately unsuccessful. Olaski lofts it past the 18, but doing well to get back was Seneca, and Dylan threads that he's got a three on three. Dylan up the middle, but a, too long of a touch. Tough to pull off, especially against the number six team in Division One. who's still down by a goal. Olaski left flank ahead to Atacoya. Battling against the double team. The double team wins. It's ahead to Higgins for Cal Poly going the other way. Enriquez through the center circle. They try again. Three on four. Enriquez finds O'Connor to his left, left flank. Try to find Justin Dillon in front, but it's off of Cannon for UCLA, and it goes off for a throw. Carroll will loft it in. He's in the attacking third, Carroll. O'Connor's in front of him up the line, as well as Justin Dillon. Carroll taking his time, finds Higgins instead, left flank. Higgins watches it go, tries a shot, but it's too far to the left and to the left of the near post. Cervantes takes the goal kick quickly. Out of the box to the left, 53rd minute. Still Cal Poly 1, UCLA nothing. Powell left flank. That was Vobeda. He tried to find Vobeda, as far as I know, at the left back position for the moment. Don't recall seeing him there in the last half. 
Cannon right side line against O'Connor. Switching the field, Hernandez right flank behind the midfield line. They play it to Amick. Amick left flank over the line. Bo Beta trying to give and go with Adekoya, who cannot hold on. But gets the benefit of the doubt because the Mustangs hit it out of bounds. Say the officials in front of the UCLA bench. Left flank, here we go from the throw. Amick across the midfield line. Couple touches, it goes to Hernandez in front of the center circle. There's some space. One touch from Wakasa to clear. O'Connor wins the sprint, but he can't keep it in play as the ball goes over the midfield line. Throw in UCLA, but right to O'Connor going the opposite direction. Or at least we thought. The official blowing, throwing dead saying, hey, take more time with this. So no official turnover. Cannon right at the midfield line, near touch line with a throw. One touch from Donlotti. Wakasa winning position left flank and no advantage. Wakasa pushes a foul on the Bruins. Wakasa playing it ahead. O'Connor with some room on the left sideline. Still going up. Cannon. He sends the cross in O'Connor and it forces Cervantes to make a save on the ground off of the bounce in front of the five. Unfortunately, Justin Dillon a bit late getting there to make the connection. We are approaching the 55th minute, and it is still a 1-0 Mustang advantage. Great potential for a possible upset. One that would certainly shock a lot of Division I men's soccer followers. Hernandez right flank, uh, no call in the contact from Duran. Ping pong, it bounces for Carroll for Cal Poly. Ahead of Justin Dillon, it looked like a nice one touch to O'Connor on the left sideline, but too far in front. Throw comes in quick, but Cervantes, the keeper, who's in front of the box. Ahead to Amick. Amick finds Ewell, dribbling to his left. Can't get past the midfield line. It's a long triangle, complete to Holt. Holt dribbling right, finds Hernandez above the midfield line. Duran battling, somehow stayed all ball the whole way. Duran running up to the line and winning the challenge. But Holt wins the ball at midfield. Ahead to Ewell. Now Don Lottie tries it. That was a shot that was deflected from the right and it ended up being deflected off of a fellow teammate. Happened quickly, that was the best angle I could get. Goal kick, Eric Cam. Mustang goalkeeper. The more matches he gets in, the more likely it seems that he will keep this role for the rest of the season. After Simon Baum got a, or Bohm rather, got a couple of starts in non-conference play in August into September. Ewell, long ball switching field, left sideline, sprinting up, winning it out of Koya, but off of one touch, it's hit past the goal line and out. Actually, it never crossed the goal line, it's just a very, very deep throw in. Right sideline, Sean Dillon will Take it for the Mustangs. UCLA wins the ball midfield out of the center circle. Cannon. It's on the right of the 18. Oloski not able to keep it in, but it's off of Carroll last. So Cannon taking his time walking over to the spot of the throw. Inside the 18, right of the box. Locked it inside the 18. Battling for some position and wrapped up by a triple team was Don Lotti. Covered very, very nicely. It's cleared out and goes out of bounds by Wakasa. The throw is deeper on the right sideline. More room for the defense. Alaski up to the top of the 18. Duran clears it away. Left of the circle for Amick. The Bruins continue to win the possession battle, but can't find goal for the life of them. Running up to the left of the box, he was going a long way for the run, and eventually it's poked away by Sean Dillon at right back. That was a give and go. Opportunity, if I'm not mistaken, that was Ewell and Bobeda trying to thread the needle. We've seen Sean Dillon be very strong in that right back position. There he is again, booting it down the right side of the line to Justin Dillon appropriately. Ball goes off of the Bruins. And 
the two Dillon brothers twins, both came in, coming out of Rancho Santa Margarita, California, and both part of the LA Galaxy Academy. Sean Dillon throws. Dillon also the shorter brother. He's six foot. Justin is six three. So off of the Bruins, same far touch line over the attack, the midfield line rather. For Sean Dillon, 58th minute. Cal Poly one, UCLA nothing. Bruins back four does well to react as the ball went to the right of the 18. Now up the line out of Koya. No, he can't get past. The Mustangs on the right flank. Cross comes in. It's a long one, but nobody in the 18. For the home team, Cervantes the keeper. Just throws it out to Amick. Powell left center back. Higgins, Justin Dillon trying to apply pressure. Holt, right center back. Amick. Powell from the mid-circle finds Cannon, right sideline. Still the battle with him and O'Connor. Cannon gets past O'Connor. Nice ball up the right sideline to Dan Lottie. Trying to thread the needle to Cannon, not quite. And Semeca cleared it out of the box for the home team. Another deflection, it's off of the Bruins. And from my vantage point, that was the correct call of a Powell last. We get our first sub of the second half in the 59th minute. Are they going to let him come on, though? Yes, they will. It's Adam Olson, who again is going to let Justin Dillon take a breather with a 1 0 advantage. That goal came in the 10th minute from Justin Dillon. Nick Carroll, the assist. Dillon with two touches, found the back of the net, and that is still the difference. The number six Bruins trying not to get upset. It would be only their second loss of the year. Certainly affect that number six ranking. Powell center third. He's going to find Amick to his left, making the run up. Pass in front, mid pitch, dribbling to his right was Donlotti. Cannon, Alaski behind him, dribbling to the right from the right sideline. Back to Powell. Powell, middle of the pitch, dribbling up, top of the box, trying to find some room. There's a lofted down. Lottie tries a shot. Nice save by Cam. It's lofted over the crossbar of Cam's gloves to keep it 1 0. Right at the 61st minute. And that is one of Cam's more impressive saves this fall. So hard to try to put into words, but Cam stayed on the ground. Just lofted the ball over the crossbar, but did what he had to do. Corner kick, UCLA. We'll see if the rest of the defense can put the bow on. Couple bounces, right side of the 16, trying a shot, was hold, it's off the defense, and to the right a goal, but it's off of the Bruins last. And there you have it, the team defense going to work once more. Over two thirds of the way from an upset is this Mustang home team. This crowd would go absolutely bananas if they're able to make it happen. Cam, out of the box from the goal kick. To Cannon, right flank, Olsen. No, they're not gonna give Olsen the foul for the push. Not that much of a push anyway. Hernandez trying to hold on. That's a handball, they call it against Semeca, right flank, free kick coming. 25 yards out to the right of the 18. Just inside the 18 on the right. And both teams getting set up. Olaski and Hernandez are by the ball. Olaski is the one who has it now by himself. Head official applies the temporary paint to the field. Duran is the wall of one for the Mustangs on the right side of the 18. Alaski blocking the free kick, it goes to the middle, off of the head of Carroll. Behind the semicircle, Duran. Another header to O'Connor taking a big hit, that's whistled for a foul, O'Connor taking a shot to the head. Play whistled dead in the 63rd minute. So O'Connor getting attended to by the head official. He gets back to his feet with the help of Ian Anderson. 
Well, look at this attendance number. 7,032 fans in attendance for Cal Poly tonight. Third highest in the nation this year. And this is the 11th time that we've gotten 7,000 fans plus at Spanos. Well, hats off to all the Cal Poly students taking up most of the eastern side bleachers at Spanos. They are the ones that made that happen. Just obliterating the crowd of just over a thousand that witnessed the nil-nil San Diego State tie on Saturday. 7,000. That's also the biggest crowd UCLA's seen so far this year. Ball is hit out of bounds, and the Mustangs will put in another substitute as the clock is back underway, 63rd minute. Brett Foreman coming out. George Brody again coming in. Only his second appearance of the season. He also played against Fresno Pacific, but like we said, Grody has a lot of starts under his belt in past, in his last year with the Mustangs, I should say. Big part of the reason why the Mustangs tied a team record with 11 wins. UCLA wins the ball in the midfield. Powell on the right flank is across the midfield line. Del Lottie with the ball to the right. Olaski foot race against Carroll. Carroll wins it, though. And he does keep it in. Off the left boot to O'Connor. Can O'Connor keep it in? Not quite. Almost gets in the stands, but still out of bounds. Another Bruin throw. Cannon in front of the line to Don Lotti. One-on-one -on -one against Wakasa. Ball waved to Ewell on the left flank. Towering ball left to right. Hernandez was on side, but one touch from Hernandez goes over the goal line to the right of goal. And it's just a goal kick for Cal Poly. The more of those they get, the more competent this home team will be. Cam has the ball on the edge of the five. To the left. If the score stands, it would be his second shutout of his career. Cam the junior originally came on for Cal Poly in 2013 redshirted. Then was a freshman in 2014, sophomore in 2015, but did not play in any matches. And now appears to have won the starting keeping position for good. Free kick right at, right at midfield for the Mustangs, going right to left, O'Connor to the left of the circle. This is inside the 18, out Cervantes with a punch. Nice job, Hernandez. Out of midfield, finding Ewell to the left. Left flank is Ewell. Behind the line, Ewell cannot find, however, a teammate in Don Lottie up the left sideline. Throw in Mustangs. Sean Dillon to loft it. Olsen one touch off the boot. Justin Dillon another touch. Ball takes a few bounces on or near the far touch line, but it is off of the Bruins. Across the touch line, it's past the 18 into the right of the goal box for this throw. Dylan to take it 15 yards out. Keen touch. Off the chip shot intended for Duran, but it's off of the Mustang defense instead. Or the Bruin defense, and Dunlotti collects it. Pass to his left is Ewell. Powell switches field. Cannon right flank. O'Connor against him. Give and go to Powell. And back to Amick behind the line. Olsen, nice pressure. Holt in the middle of the circle. Unsettling possession. Amick, Olaski. Out of the circle. Ahead to Don Lottie. Unfortunate deflection for the Bruins. Olsen tries to get out to the races. Big push. Not enough for a whistle. Olsen can't hold on. Cannon wins it back for UCLA. Give and go with Olaski. Hernandez, rather. Olaski with the ball. Ewell has it dribbling up the middle of the pitch, getting closer and closer to the 18. Nice job by Semeca, poking it away. Ewell back, though. Plays it on the grass to his right. Carroll hesitates, plays it up to Duran. Probably the right choice. Duran farther up the left flank defensive half. One touch, O'Connor. Can't get out of the way of Cannon. Hernandez the other way for UCLA. Olaski right side of the box. Try to thread the needle. Oh, so close with Cannon. Off of the Mustangs, but Olaski keeping the ball on the right side of the box. Hernandez, mid-pitch. Pass to Powell on the left. Hernandez back to him. 
Ewell near the top of the semicircle, poking it away, doing well as O'Connor again. Olsen off his shoulder near handball. Bouncing suddenly to Voibeda. Dunlady heel pass behind him. Off to Adekoye, who hasn't had too many touches. Howell, they get it back left to right. Cannon. Holt dribbles up the right flank. 70th minute. Bruins trying to score their first goal, being down 1 0. Ewell lofting it into the 18 off the head of Wakasa for Cal Poly. There's the boot by Carroll. Out to midfield. Olsen watches it bounce. It's off a one touch by Holt right in the vicinity. O'Connor back to Olsen. It's still the same two battling for the ball. And Cannon comes out to help for the Bruins. He's up the right sideline inside the attacking half. Inside the attacking third now. Olaski give and go back to Cannon. That's a ball on the right side of the 18. The cross comes in. It's past Sean Dillon, but no Bruins nearby. Dunlady was two behind. That ball inside. And it is off of the Bruins' last to add insult to injury for the visitors. Dunlady speechless 71st minute Cal Poly 1 UCLA nil Bruins still lead in total shots 7 to 2 both teams have one shot on goal Mustangs have had to make one save Bruins have taken all four corners and lead in the shots as we said 7 2 but they still cannot score 10 fouls on the visitors, 8 on the home team. Still just the one yellow card, 38th minute for the Bruins. That was called on Powell. But less than 20 minutes to go. Mustangs just have to keep applying enough pressure. Carroll across the left flank, attacking half. No, he can't hold on. Intercepting his Powell off to the races, right flank, enough room. Threading the needle, was he onside? It doesn't matter because Semeca cleared it away. But that pass intended inside the 18 to Abidon Lottie, still providing that pressure. And the ball is hit out over the goal line. This is a corner kick UCLA. Right corner flag, 72nd minute we go. This is a big moment. Corner taken short, inside the 18, one touch, two touches Hernandez, and the back four does its job for the Mustangs right there. Grody push, that's against Grody. Foul whistle. Just a bit too much, Bobeda. Passes around, switching back right to the left, Amick. This is Bobeda. Up the left sideline was Atacoya, give and go, back to Atacoya. Double team is there, crowd getting louder, Bobeda. Top of the box, cleared away. Sean Dillon ahead to Olsen, but off of Olsen too hard. 10 out of the 11 Bruins in the attacking half, applying more and more pressure, getting more and more desperate. Cannon right sideline, back to Holt. Can the Mustangs hold on? Holt further up the right flank. Olaski to his right against O'Connor. Olaski nowhere to go. Pass to his left. Powell to Holt. Olaski again, up the right flank, right sideline, the ball was working. O'Connor intercepts it back. Couple more heads, it ricochets into the 18. Don Lotti suddenly into the 18. It's off of O'Connor for Cal Poly out of the box. Olaski gets inside, and nice touch by Wakasa to get it out. Kenneth Higgins trying to thread the needle to his left, can't quite do it with Wakasa. Olaski instead intercepts for the Bruins. Back the other way we go, left to right, Bobay to left flank. Adekoya. Has to go back and retreat. 74th minute. 16 left in regulation. The Bruins have to score to avoid losing. And for Cal Poly to avoid picking up the upset. Higgins, nice all ball tackle by himself to win the ball back. And O'Connor finally clears it to the Mustangs attacking half, which finally has a player. And it also couldn't get to the ball. Cervantes way out of his box. Played up to Powell, running up the left flank, dribbling left as well ahead. Bobeda makes the triangle with Hernandez inside the left flank. Finding Don Lottie to his right, but poked away Duran. He and Olsen can be a tag team. Duran ahead to Olsen. Olsen on the run to the left. Olsen has the ball. Left flank to the 18, tries to thread it between the legs of Holt, but Duran way far away from where the ball was going to the near post on the left. 
Runes go left to right. Back the other way quickly, Adekoya inside the middle pitch. Don Lottie is to his right up ahead. Seneca, though, nice job with a touch. Forcing Adekoya to go to the right flank. Cannon give and go with Adekoya. Same spot against Higgins. Pass goes to his left. There's Powell. Powell dribbling further up. Ewell, left flank. Dribbling over Enriquez. Bobeda up the left sideline, goes to his right. Nowhere to go on the sideline. Hernandez on top of the 18-1 touch, poked away by Seneca. Higgins trying to get away, can't quite do it. Don Lotti, nice job by Duran. Pushing and shoving going on, no call either way. But O'Connor wins the ball. Heavy touch though down the left flank, gives it right back to UCLA. Olaski, right flank, closer to the 18 again. And there's a whistle. Olaski absorbs the contact. Foul on the Mustangs. We got a free kick. Time stopped in the 76th minute. Do we have a card? Olaski's still on the ground. He's played the entire second half after not getting in at all in the first half. I don't think we're going to see a card. Just an injury stoppage most likely. But this is going to be a free kick. 25 yards away from goal and on the right edge of the 18-yard box. Clock remains stopped, 76th minute. Head official taking his time to mark the ball where it should be. Good choice by Ian Anderson. And meanwhile, the Mustangs get in a sub. Joseph Bolas, he's in for Kenneth Higgins. Bolas, junior midfielder out of Redwood City, California. Club is Dianza Force. He's gotten in six of the seven matches for Cal Poly this season. Didn't play against San Diego State. That was the only match he missed. But here's Olaski with a free kick. Right side behind the 18. Olaski shoots for gold, and it bounces. Likely off of the edge of the near post on the right. Just inches to the left, and maybe it would have been the equalizer, but it's a goal kick. Big sigh of relief in the student section on the east end of Spano Stadium. It stays. Cal Poly 1, UCLA nil. 76th minute. The goal came by Justin Dillon in the 10th minute on an assist from Nick Carroll, top of the box. Still the difference maker. Cam lofts the goal kick high in the air across the midfield line. One touch from Cannon. Moon ball finds its way to Hernandez to the right of the center circle. Winning it back, though, in the midfield is Brett Foreman. Grody pushed around, can't hold on. Hernandez finds Ewell to his left. Ewell mid-pitch. Goes to his left. Powell's behind him. Powell going against Bolas just off the bench. Cannon across a couple defenders. It's another stoppage of play and the Bruins have to back up a little bit for this free kick to be taken. 77th minute, 13 minutes left to get an equalizer or be upset. It's number six UCLA team. Obey to left flank. Powell in the middle. Give and go with him and Hernandez. Nowhere to go is Powell though. Bobeda up the left flank, left sideline. He's dribbling off of Justin Dillon, or Sean Dillon, rather. Justin Dillon remains on the bench for the moment. Holt playing it up to Hernandez. Middle of the pitch against Duran. Hernandez using the back of the cleats a couple times. Has to retreat. Ewell to his right. Enriquez on him. The man-to-man -man defense back for the Mustangs, the team defense. Shot by left. That was left to right, and that was by Dunlotti, but a deflection, and I hesitated because I wasn't sure where this ball was going at first. But it goes out of bounds off of a deflection. It's a UCLA throw the opposite end of the field, right sideline. And Adam Olson, after putting together a good shift in the second half, will come back to the bench. Justin Dillon is on. And we'll likely see Justin for the remaining 12 minutes 
of this match, no matter what happens. 78th minute with a 1-0 score. His 10th minute goal, the big difference maker. And we keep saying it because of how big of a goal it was. Intercepted, Duran has some room left flank. Cal Poly trying to switch the field. Bolas in the center circle, deflected off of Olaski, who didn't even see the ball. Actually, that was off of Hernandez. Hernandez again. Poor touch, Foreman wins it for Cal Poly to the right of the circle on the right flank. Ball in from Sean Dillon, too far ahead of Foreman, though. And it goes for a throw in. Far touch line, UCLA. Bobeda taking it quickly. Off of the head of Ewell. Back to the back four. Switching the field left to right with the pass. Holt has it now. Back to Amick. I thought about the switch. Left back, Bobeda. Taking a big push, no contact. UCLA had advantage at the very least. Ball's played up the left flank. Nice give and go. Yule dribbling to his right. Poked away, though, by the Mustangs. No call with two players coming together. That's about 50-50. Head to Justin Dillon. He's got some room again on the right sideline. It forces a clear out. For the first time in a while, the Mustangs might have a chance to establish some possession in the midfield. Dillon can take his time with a throw. 80th minute, 10 minutes to go before the end of regulation. Mustangs up 1-0, 10 minutes away from the upset. The throw-in just goes to nobody, though, up the line. It's a goal kick. As the ball goes across the goal line. Cervantes, knowing time is a factor, takes it quickly. Finds his left center back, Amick. Back to Amick, having trouble getting out of this to Cervantes in the box. Cervantes finally... With a one touch to the center circle off of Wakasa, though, for Cal Poly to Grody left flank. Mustangs now might have an attacking opportunity. Carroll ahead to Duran, trying to win against Holt. And a nice bicycle kick by Holt ends up getting the job done. Powell having trouble clearing, has to get it back to Holt inside the box. Up the left sideline for Cal Poly. Carroll with a header, wins it to Enriquez. And the back four for the Mustangs can possibly get it going. Semeca, though, plays it up to the right sideline and... That appeared to be a tenant for Foreman, but Foreman didn't necessarily know it was coming to him. He spun around a, out of position. It went over the far touch line of Bruin throw. Defensive third is the ball. Up the left sideline, it's deflected off of the cleat of Foreman for the Mustangs. Ball played to Cervantes, the keeper. Over the center circle, good header by Wakasa. Ahead to Grody, settles it down on the grass, finds Bolas to his right, Bolas middle of the pitch. And Bolas trying to find a teammate up and in front of him to the left, but Cannon poked it away. Give and go with him and Blaine Martinez off of the bench. Cannon went around, Carroll was trying to apply a tackle, Olaski dribbling to the left from the right sideline, Hernandez mid pitch. Now he finds Ewell, Powell behind him. All the way back to Amick at left center back across the line. At two shot attempts total by Cal Poly. That's currently a program record for the fewest that they have ever taken in a match for the Mustangs. And yet, again, we keep saying it, they're up 1-0 over UCLA. As long as you've got the one goal advantage, you can live with two shot attempts total. In the meantime, there's a free kick. It went against UCLA, so Cam is out of his box and to the right. Ready to blast this one to the heavens. 82nd minute. Ball's more of a line drive, actually, but it's up the right sideline to Justin Dillon. A heavy touch. Dillon tries to keep it in. It stays in up the right sideline, and that's a whistle against the Bruins. Foreman was going for it. 1v1. Too much contact from Felix Bobeda for UCLA. So again, the Mustangs can take a bit more time getting this free kick in. 40 yards out, right sideline is the kick. Sean Dillon trying to find a way to make this 2-0. Put the match away, potentially. The ball goes past the 18 to the left of the 18, off the head of Grody, and it's off of his head last. Bruins take the throw in quick, they have to. It's in the defensive third, Cannon down the line to Olaski. Right sideline, one touch after a couple bounces, miscommunication with Martinez, but it's Alba Semeca out of bounds, and the Bruins will keep the ball. Oh gosh, Cannon trying to get it. He's 
<laughs> he was begging one of the kids who had the ball, give the ball back, the clock is ticking. And they do. It wasn't bad. Left flank Yule. That could have gotten really interesting, depending on who had the ball. The ball is going over the goal line, though. It's too far in front of Oloski, and it's a goal kick again for the Mustangs. Right to left, 84th minute. Six minutes away from the upset against number six UCLA. 1-0 the lead. Each minute getting more and more tense among the Mustang faithful. Kenneth Higgins, meanwhile, after a short rest, back on for Joseph Bolas. A nice short stint from him. Cam's goal kick out to the left sideline off the head of Grody. Does keep it in off to the left flank. One touch from Justin Dillon. Higgins onside. He's past the defense. Higgins to the 18. The shot is on the way, but it's Cervantes right in front of it. Near post on the left. And Cervantes immediately hits a line drive out of the box. Left sideline. It does not stay in, though. Off of the foot of Donlotti. Bruins trying to get a sub in, but they don't have the throw, and yet it's Cal Poly's instead. Justin Dillon against the double team, right sideline. Not in, though, out of bounds. But it is off of UCLA. 85th minute. Mustangs trying to keep this pressure going as long as they can. It's actually a free kick. Is correction on that. A push. And it just stayed in bounds. This free kick by Dillon taken short down the right sideline. Justin Dillon has it right corner by the right corner flag. Possibly trying to win a corner kick. Not able to do it though. He hits it over the goal line. He was trying to deflect it off of two Bruin defenders who were getting on him. So Cervantes gets a goal kick, but his team only has five minutes left for the equalizer. Down 1-0. This number six team in Division One. Cal Poly just one win, four losses, and a draw for the year. UCLA not expecting this situation, not even with a huge 7,000-plus crowd at Spanos. Third highest attendance figure this fall in Division I. Amick across the line. The back four has to come up now more than ever. Holt has it left flank. Way past the center circle is the left back Holt. Up the sideline, battling for position. Touch from Atacoya. The ball goes to the right of the 18. McGrody clears it into the center circle. Aiming for UCLA. Two touches. Pass goes up to Don Lottie. One touch to Hernandez to his right. 86th minute we go. Hernandez stopped up. Higgins can't get there to intercept. Powell for UCLA. Back out to the left sideline. Bobeda running up. He's to the left of the 18. Cleared away. Out for a Bruin throw. Near the end of the 86th minute. Mustangs lead it 1-0. Throw in comes in fast. Donlotti left flank. Attacking third. Poked away. And out to Higgins for the Mustangs. Trying to run up the right sideline. It's off of him last. Briefly protesting, but Higgins not winning that call. Donlotti. Left sideline back in the attacking half for the Bruins. Inside the attacking third now with a pass is Oloski dribbling to his left through some traffic. Semeca tries to boot it. Free kick though, and it's to the Bruins. Another whistle stops the clock in the 87th minute. Now it's actually a collision. It might have been away from the ball. Teams buckling knees. One versus one. And this Mustang on the ground got the worst of it. That was Semeca that went down to the ground, but this is arguably the most dangerous of the free kick opportunities that the Bruins have gotten. And they've gotten quite a few in the second half. Olaski, as this crowd heats up, within 30 yards from goal, left side of the 18. Cal Poly sends a wall of three just in front of the goal box. Not underway yet. Clock now goes Olaski, shot, shoots it over to the right and over the goal line, goal kick for the Mustangs. Clock rolling again. Middle of the 87th minute. What a tremendous win this would be if they can hold on for the remaining three minutes and 20 seconds. Cam lines the ball up, as always, on the left part of the five. Runs up to the ball. 
Lofts it with a right boot. Out to the center circle. Header by Enriquez. Ahead to Duran. Another header. Down to Higgins who touches it once, twice. Grody is onside. No, he's not. Spoke too soon. It was offsides. And that's the first Mustangs offsides call of the game. After they got a ton. And remember in that game against Fresno Pacific. I don't remember that number off the top of my head, but it was in double digits at the very least. 88th minute in the middle. Free kick, Cal Poly inside the center circle. Wakasa to take it. It's out to the right sideline. One header. It deflects to Higgins, tries a shot. No, it's off of Amick. That would have made it 2-0. Chess, Sean Dillon tries another shot. Cervantes blocks it with a save to the right. It remains 1-0, good for the Bruins, but they only have just over two minutes to get the equalizer. Seneca with a header across the midfield line. UCLA's attacking half. Alasi with a header, not getting a whistle. Martinez dribbling inside. It finds Dunlotti to his left, poked away by Higgins briefly for Cal Poly, but the Bruins hold on. Hernandez, right flank. He finds Alasi, top of the 18. Alasi looking for options. There's a shot on the way. It's deflected once, and it bounces to Cam, who goes down to ground, collects it with the gloves. Donlotti, Martinez, they were trying to thread something together. But now we've got a minute and a half left of regulation. This crowd's starting to sense it. one nothing Mustang. Sean Dillon wins it right sideline. Up to Justin Dillon further up the sideline. Amick has to get it back in the box, but not what the Bruins want at this point. Not what they need. Holt finally getting out of the box. Hammock to the, Amick to the left, rather. Left sideline, everybody's heart pumping up a bit more. They switch the field left to right, Holt right flank. Higgins is right there, close to the one minute mark. Martinez one touch, intercepted, Carroll gets it, and Dylan is away out to the races, left flank. 1v1, not counting the keeper. Dylan dribbling to his left, he knows what he has to do to the left of the 18. The double team comes late. Dylan hits it over and out, and the Bruins have a deep throw, 45 seconds left inside the box. Mustangs lead at 1-0. This is all or nothing for UCLA. Ball hit over the midfield line, intended for Adekoya left flank. Going against Sean Dillon. Adekoya off of the chest. Sean Dillon with a touch. It forces a throw in, but it slows time down. Less than 30 seconds left for UCLA. Adekoya with some bounces down. He's getting everybody up into the box. 20 seconds left. Crowd on their feet. Adekoya somersaults, but it's deflected off a of Cal Poly defender, Sean Dillon. Letting Grody clear it up the right sideline. 10 seconds left. This just about done. Number six, UCLA is just five, four seconds away. Amick sends the ball. Lacasse away with the header. It's over. The game is over. Cal Poly has done it. Number six, UCLA has lost. And the Division I men's soccer world goes crazy. Cal Poly won, UCLA nil through 90 minutes. And it is over. What a show for this tremendous crowd. Almost no words. And it really came down to the final few seconds. That last ball right in front of the 18 yard box. What a good crew out to preserve this. Steve Sampson in his second year as head coach for the Mustangs, he has got to be pleased with this result.